Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. These guys will be at my home tomorrow. As all of their clients know, and as I know, when you need them, they react ASAP. That's the beauty of a local company. Whether it's security systems, entertainment systems, whatever you need, they do it all. Safety Systems. J.J. Serlis, the VFL, give him a shout this week. All right, guys, let's take a look over at our big board, and you're going to see a possible mock-up for Tennessee secondary. In terms of down at the bottom, you've got the uh, corners listed, Balaam Buchanan, six career starts. On the other side, Alante Taylor, the true freshman, probably going to grab that slot. No starts, obviously, with a true freshman. Sean Schamberger looks like the nickelback at the moment, one start in his career. Behind them, you look pretty good at the safety position. Mike Abernathy with 22 starts, the senior. Nigel Warrior, the junior, with 13 starts. Over on the right, you have the reserves. Bryce Thompson, freshman. All right, no starts, obviously. Trevon Flowers, freshman, no starts. And then you got Todd Kelly Jr., who's sitting back there. Haven't had a lot of talk about Todd Kelly Jr. Uh, 13 starts in his career, coming off an injury from last year, and then, of course, the injury in the offseason. Um, you'd look at that, all right? So. 35 starts on the back end. Looks pretty young and green, green. on the front end, the cornerbacks. <laughs> Let's take a look at what they're going to be facing in week one against West Virginia. Last year, the Mountaineers were 294 of 41 through the air for 61% completion percentage, threw for 309 yards a game, 13th in the nation, 8.4 yards per attempt, 16th in the nation, 37 touchdowns against 14 interceptions, that's 7th in the nation. Had a quarterback rating of 150.9, <laughs> 16th in the nation. And, oh, by the way, they also ran for 150 yards a game. Now, on the plus side for Tennessee fans, West Virginia did that against weak Big 12 defenses. On the negative side, that's also without Will Greer playing the last two games. Those numbers would have been a little bit higher. Uh, gentlemen, having looked at the secondary I just showed you, which looks green all the way through. And you're going to see Bryce Thompson and Trevon Flowers this year. So put those guys in that mix. You're going to have a lot of rookies and newbies out there. And then you compare it to what they're going to see in Charlotte in week one. Where's your confidence level in terms of stopping a passing attack from West Virginia? On a scale of one to ten, probably about a three. <laughs> I mean, to me, it's about the absolute worst. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, somebody's going to have to play better. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, seriously, this is about the worst matchup you can have. This is even like playing Missouri, probably even tougher when you look at Will Greer and what he did. 34 touchdown passes, 3,400 yards. Goodness gracious. I mean, and, and uh, you probably he's, he projects to be the first quarterback taken in the NFL draft. Is that who this secondary wants to play game in one? game one? Yeah, uh, you know it may be a different. If you faced him in game five, <laughs> I may look at this differently. But game one, I don't know. You're biting fingernails over that. Yeah, I think uh, this is. Uh this is year Tennessee wishes they were opening at home against uh, <laughs> okay. East, East Tennessee State. You know, right. To get, to get those Elante Taylor and those guys some experience. There, I, I go back to, uh, it was about 2000, Rashad Baker started the season as a wide receiver, and, and in September they moved him, and he became a starting safety. Now, he took some lumps. He became a good player, but he took some lumps, and there's just no way that these young guys are not going to take some lumps against West Virginia. It's a great point, yeah. Yeah, I'm very confident with your question about that, and that Tennessee's going to give up some plays to West Virginia. So what you have to hope is that Tennessee can then maybe make some plays of its own. We, we saw in the open practice Alante Taylor make a couple of those. Mm -hmm. So can you then flip it back to your side? Because with Will Greer, those receivers that are coming back, those preseason All-American Offenses are filled up with some West Virginia guys, so uh, you, you're going to give up points. Can your defense help you score some points? That's something you're going to try to do on the flip side. And the other thing we're not talking about there, most teams would say, and I'm sure there's some people saying, yeah, but what about the pass rush? That's part of the, the pass defense as well. Yeah, what about the pass rush? If you're going by what Tennessee had last year, you've mm -hmm. still got a lot of question marks. I'm not, you know, maybe Jonathan Kongbo, who's had a great camp supposedly, saying all the right things. Maybe this guy comes through and becomes the pass rusher off the edge that everyone expected two years ago. But until I see it, I still just glare at those <laughs> at those young guys and think, ooh, this is a terrible matchup. Ryan, your thoughts? And one thing worth noting, Jeremy Pruitt has been asked about his plans for the, for the secondary, whether he plans to rotate a lot of guys there. He said that's a position where you ideally wouldn't do that very much. So I'll be very interested in how he approaches this game. I think you could see a very different secondary in October and November than what you see at the beginning of the season. If those guys give up some early plays against West Virginia, does he turn to the young guys early and is he willing to, to rotate? Yeah, I mean, you've got Taylor starting, and they're high on Schamberger. Uh, a lot of people think Flowers is up there as well. Mm -hmm. Bryce Thompson has made some plays in fall camp. 
this could be a very young group. And and then you, you have not heard much about Todd Kelly Jr. This camp no, you know. again. Now we're not seeing it. We're mm -hmm. going by what's leaking out, what they're saying, but not a lot of talk about Todd Kelly Jr., which is a little surprising. Going into a first game against West Virginia, I would be more likely. I guess this goes. This conflicts my pull the band aid motto, but I would feel a little bit better if I was trying to get as many <laughs> seniors out there in the secondary against West Virginia as possible. I, I think safety. You're going to see them. We, we talked about the 35 starts between those top two yeah. Abernathy and Warrior. I think they still might mix and match there. Sean Schamberger, Todd Kelly Jr., maybe even Theo Jackson by the end of the year, and then Trayvon Flowers. All those guys are in the mix, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see several different guys there. Okay, good deal. Uh, when we come back, is this the most mysterious Tennessee team ever? We'll explain what we mean by that next. Shh. Zip lips, just like at UT. Come on back. <laughs> 